The very first Light at Christmas Parade took place in 1995 and has become a beloved Lake Orion tradition. The community should have celebrated the parade's 25th year in 2020, but organizers were forced to cancel it due to COVID. In 2021, the parade was scheduled to take place on December 4th, but it was decided to postpone it in response to the tragic events that took place at Oxford High School on November 30th. After facing these challenges, the Orion Light at Christmas Parade returned to downtown Lake Orion, as did the parade's primary fundraiser. On the evening of Friday, December 17th, the community gathered at Gall and Viewing GMC in Orion Township for the Holly Jolly Folly, the major fundraising event that helps make the Light at Christmas Parade possible. More than 350 attendees enjoyed a buffet dinner and entertainment and took part in a silent auction made up of items donated by local businesses and community groups. You know, it's a very special night it has been for us for a number of years, and it's really good to have it back. Um, we had to postpone it, as everybody knows, for a couple of weeks. And with all the sadness in the communities, tonight's a night where maybe we can have a, a normal, a regular night as much as possible. So we think this is the right thing to do, and, and we're happy to have the community here. Right now, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, it's, it's everybody seems to be looking like they're having a good time. There was a lot of interaction with people, like they hadn't seen each other for a while. Um, I thought it was great, and I think this is a great event. We probably have about 350, 360 people here, which is a fantastic turnout, especially being that we canceled two weeks ago. Um, so I'm, I'm very, very happy. I'm very happy with everybody being able to do what they can do and be here tonight. Money is raised for the Light at Christmas Parade through ticket sales and proceeds generated from the silent auction. Gall and Butte GMC picks up all costs related to hosting the event. This pays for the parade. I mean, we do get, we do get people donate money and we do get people that, to donate different things, but between the dinner and the silent auction prizes, this pays for the parade. Um, we're like everybody else. The costs for us have gone way up, um, more than we expected. And last year not having a parade and not knowing we were having a parade, that sort of put us in a back burner because we didn't get those donations that we had gotten before. We didn't have what Gollings does with us by you know, sponsoring this night and hosting it and paying for everything. All the money um, that is uh, raised here tonight, which um, I'll get a little plug in for us, Golling Buick GMC pays for all the, the event tonight. And then all the money that's raised through ticket sales funds the parade plus Hopefully we got enough money left over after we fund the parade that we can give some scholarship money or some other donations in the community. So this is a big night. Twenty-four hours later, residents began lining the streets of downtown Lake Orion for the lighted Christmas parade. Announcers John Cooper and Rock and Ronnie took the stage at Broadway and Front Street as four beams of light reflected on the clouds overhead to honor the Oxford High School students we lost. Leading the parade was Lake Orion Police Chief Harold Rossman in the department's vintage 1941 police car. His passenger was honored veteran Bob Watros, U.S. Navy veteran and park manager at the Orion Veterans Memorial. And named 2021 Citizens of the Year was local businessman and respected community member Matt Pfeiffer. The parade grand marshals were the Reard family, made up of Robert, Donna, Christine, and Haley, for their service to the community. Dozens of colorful floats, community groups, and businesses embraced this year's theme, Christmas in Toyland, and costume characters thrilled the little ones standing in the snow. The parade is so important, and we, we learned this last year during COVID when we couldn't have a parade. And Bill Kokanis and his team put together a deal where they drove around with Santa Claus into the neighborhoods, and it was really cool and it was well thought out, but it just wasn't the parade. And, and I think it's very important that people are able to get out there on the streets of, of Orion and, and be a part of this. I mean, I, I've heard that sometimes we have as many as 10,000 people out there, and, and that's got to make people feel good to be out there and be a part of it. I'm, I'm hoping with the community that it, it brings out the love that we have for everybody and that the, the community can come together and do something, not only knowing what had happened, but also having it, this is supposed to be a happy part of the year. So we're trying to do that and make it a little happier so that way people will have a better Christmas than what they could have had. 
And as always, Santa and Mrs. Claus guided their reindeer and sleigh through the streets of downtown Lake Orion to wish the community a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas!